everyone. So before we start today's game, the guy that we played two days ago, yeah, he just got banned. <laughs> so I have a kind of a rule. I don't really accuse anyone like during the game of, you know, foul play or cheating or whatever. Sometimes people do just wake up and they take their Magnus pills. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he was just playing really well. But then, um, yeah, after I went and looked at his game history, uh, after we finished our game, and I saw that he was basically getting 90 plus accuracy in all of his games, and like some games he was getting even like 100% accuracy. Granted, it was a short game, only nine moves. Um, the account just seemed really sus. So I went ahead and reported him. And I think a couple of you guys reported him as well. And also he was like on a 16 game losing streak. And out of nowhere, he just, yeah, took off. So um, anyways, yeah, thanks for everyone for reporting him. We caught a bad guy. And the world is a better place now because of it. So let's see if we can win a game today. I've been playing kind of poorly the past couple of days, if I'm being completely honest. I'm going to try to do better today. Okay. I'm going to have some drink. Oh, okay. This is an interesting idea here. I'm learning. Isn't nitrate the idea here? I'm trying to remember what the move here is. Uh, I think we just fall back if he pushes G4. Mm. B interessant, I must say. Isn't this good? Doesn't this just allow me... Doesn't this win a piece? Am I missing something here? Does he have like some nasty check or something? That's actually really good. This lets my um, uh, Dark Square Bishop get out. Well, I wonder what's... Yeah, no. no, no. <laughs> Did I just say Dark Square Bishop? I meant Knight. What am I saying? This lets my Knight develop. That's what I meant to say. I don't really want to recapture on e4 because it makes f5 difficult for the knight to get out to. So we're playing Lithiot from Belgium, right? Yeah, Belgium. I'm learning. Belgium is up, up and down and then Germany is left and right, right? <laughs> yeah, I do have a nice check here. If I can get my knight onto a good square. But am I really winning anything from that, though? I think the best case scenario is that He'll push a pawn and really weaken his kingside castle, or he just moves his king out of the way. But I could just castle myself, right? I'm just going to castle myself. I kind of want to get the hmm, I kind of want to get the knight out of the way. Yeah, I kind of want to get the knight out on d5. I feel like he's going to move his knight somewhere. I think he's going to go here. I think he wants to offer this trade and then mess up um, the pawn structure. Yeah. I almost wonder if I just push up a pawn here just to prevent c5. I normally wouldn't do such a move. I don't actually think it's like the worst thing here. Hmm. 
some ideas here. Now I want to just look for this check. Uh, I'm really tempted to do B6 here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Actually, you know what? I'll just bring in a knight. We can just trade off if he wants. I'm trying to be a better person and just develop all the pieces before moving all of the other pieces around. I'm trying so, so hard. It's just really difficult sometimes. Okay, now I kind of want to play this knight move here. What happens if I just trade off? He puts his bishop there. Hmm. inch forward. I, I want to get this uh, h4 check. It's really just what I'm after. Interesting. I have the h4 check and I think the only thing he has is moving his knight and at that point I'll just take his light square bishop. I mean you could always just push a pawn too but I think that's gonna be worse for him right? I mean I'll just fall back if anything. Oopsies. I see. So he's kind of double attacking here. Okay. Hmm. Interesting idea. Hmm. Yeah, very interesting idea. Didn't see that one coming. Hmm. Maybe I should just bring a rook out, so like, if he... Hmm, I don't want to do this. Kind of worried about getting my queen trapped here. Hmm, this is a very uncomfortable position all of a sudden. I kind of want to go back e7, honestly, and just pin this knight here. Hmm. Do I want to go e7 or f6? Hmm. Okay, I don't want to go f6. I'm actually just gonna go e7. Uh, I was kind of having a blonde moment there. Whoops. Get the rook out or something. Maybe I should just bring my bishop back to prevent this pawn structure here. Trade off. It's not really worth it to trade here. Got three defenders on c5. Shouldn't push, I don't think. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, I can't really find like a great idea here. Maybe just trade knights off or something. Too many ideas. I think I'm just going to add one more defender or attacker to c5 here. 
I mean, I basically have one, two, three. He's got one, two, three. Although I'd be losing a knight for a pawn there, which wouldn't be very good. I feel like I'm playing really poorly. I'm trying to figure out like where this game went weird. How did it get so weird? Okay, he kicks a knight. Uh, I have a free pawn here. Queen's defending. Maybe I just go for that. And then sort of attacks his bishop at the same time, which I'm okay with. And then he has a loose pawn in the center here as well. You may or may not notice that. Only downside to this move is that I don't have like a great place to fall back to. Hmm. Okay, removes the defender there, but I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm fine to take the light square bishop here. I'm just take back with the queen. So this knight is pinned. Maybe I just throw a rook on the same file as this queen here. Hmm. I wonder if it's better to kind of protect this bishop and just maintain the pin at this point. This pawn's not loose anymore. Do I attack this way? I do like this bishop. I don't want to get rid of it. I want to have something that he doesn't have. Hmm. Maybe trade off, offer the trade. Let me think about this. Now, unfortunately, that's a check. So if my queen recaptures, he can just run. Let me think about this. Boom, boom, check. Take with the queen. You can always just take, and I can take, and then we're not really that much of a better spot. Mm, never mind. I'm just going to line the rook up with the queen. I hope he doesn't take this. Interesting. Really interesting idea there. Kind of just want to move my king over and offer this trade here. I know this looks a little weird, but I want to try it. Yeah. Going for the pawn there. Hmm. Uh, that's actually okay. If I move over, my queen will protect that. Yeah, I want to offer this trade and see if, he, uh, if he'll jump his knight. Interesting. I didn't want to go for it. See if I can pressure his pawn. <laughs> I honestly think he should have just taken this rook a long time ago. If I do push this pawn up, um, I'm going to hang my bishop, so I'm going to fall back. Or do I just take? 
Let's see, he can take with a number of things. He can take with a pawn. I want to keep this defender here. I'm just going to move back. Fortunately, if he takes the knight on f6, he doesn't really have any good follow-up moves afterwards. Going for the pawn. Probably just... Well, that is a free pawn here. Do I really care for it? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of okay. I could just push it up. Yeah, I mean, I can just push the pawn up. Or I can bring the rook out. I don't really want to bring the rook out. I'd rather just push it up. I'm still defended by the queen on b7 here. Um, if you want to trade queens off, that's fine. I really just want to take this pawn. I feel like it's valuable to break this open. Or what is more valuable? I don't know. I'm trying to make sure I'm not like missing anything here. I'm just going to defend it. Whatever. Hopefully I don't get forked at some point. I think I want to bring a rook back out to the D file and just try to take this pawn while it's not attacked. Um, also, I kind of want to just like let the bishop breathe and just kind of make sure I don't get back ranked here. What is that setting up for? Yeah, I kind of want to... Yeah, see, he kind of did notice that a little bit... A little bit too late for me. I had the chance there. I think, honestly, it may have been worth it to just take that pawn. I'm just going to play it safe so I don't get back ranked here. That would be the worst. Bummer part about this pawn is that I can't push up because I get looker saunted here. Ideas. Hmm. I'm kind of regretting not taking this pawn. I think this D pawn was more valuable than this A pawn back here doing nothing. Yeah, I think I should have went for that. Because my queen's like very trapped in. I actually like this move because he's forced to take with a pawn here. And then I can just recapture with a light square bishop. So I think I'm just going to go for this. Yeah, then I can take with my bishop and then I'm going to have some ideas. Yeah. Sanity check here. 
Hmm. I could try to like skewer his knight, but free stuff is free stuff, am I right? Try to attack his queen next. Queen g5 mate, though. I mean, he'll just push up, but. Yeah, planting the bishop here seems really strong. Yeah, I'm just going to fall back. I can't really go g5 anymore. I think this is strong. He does have h5, but kind of a weak move. If he goes h5, I can always just go g, g5, threaten the mate again. He's going to be forced to move his queen here. Mm, can't really win a pawn. Maybe I just like look for a queen trade or something. What do we do here? This rook is weak. Maybe I push up the pawn on e5, look for the trade, and then try to target the rook. Hmm. I mean, I guess if I could just get my queen out. Really tempted to just find a trade too. Yeah, what can I really do? Just start stacking rooks or something. I have to maintain a defender on b7 here. Hmm. Where is the move? This d rook is not like super active right now. It's not really doing anything. The bishop has enough defenders, so maybe I start looking for something better to do with this rook and trying to like break open the e file, maybe. We're just playing stack the rooks down the center here. It's also an idea. I don't know. I need to do something, though. I think I'll just make a move. Okay. Hmm. I need to worry about his rook coming out, though. Maybe like offering the queen trade or something? What does this pawn push do? The pawn's not going to be able to advance past a5, so I don't know. e5? I just want to break these open. This might be a mistake, we'll see. Good move. Maybe that was a mistake there. Maybe I blundered that. Maybe that was not the play. Don't have the check anywhere. I could attack his queen. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. 
No, I actually like this move. I like e4. I like e4. This is a load-bearing pawn here on b7. It's carrying a lot of weight. <laughs> it's doing a lot of things. All at once. I don't think he can actually take this pawn. I think it's going to be a trade in my favor if he takes that pawn with the knight, right? Because take, 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 and take. So that'll just... Does it win a pawn? Or does it win a rook? No, I think it wins a rook, right? A uh, rook at the expense of a pawn? Perhaps. Yeah, e4. I like e4. Yeah, his pieces are very disconnected. They're not really protecting each other, so I'm trying to find some way that I can abuse that. Quick phone call there, don't mind me. I think he's going to try to set his rooks up. So I'm almost tempted to just... No, I can't go there. I'm tempted to just support this pawn here and just advance my pawns. Seems okay. Hmm. I'm fine to just trade queens off. really tempted to take the pawn but I feel like I'm just gonna lose if I start getting checked this way because I only have one defender here yeah, it's really tempting to take this pawn when I get checked I'm gonna lose that pawn so I'm just gonna trade off not even think too hard about it two defenders here one second
just add another defender to F7. Had to take a little phone call there. Bear with me. Oh, that just got gobbled. Mm, it feels bad. Failed to notice that. Well, I kind of want to just go support this pawn and see if I can bring it up. I can also attack his rook, but it's kind of a like a one-threaded move, so I don't really want to do that yet. I think I'm just going to go support this pawn. You go that way, huh? Uh, he's trying to, like, overload this rook here. Uh, I think I'll just push a pawn up. Okay. I did just lose a defender on this pawn. I kind of forgot about that. Also, my pieces are all, like, very loose now. <laughs> and shoot. Yeah, I kind of messed this one up. There's a check. It doesn't really do anything, though. Uh... Maybe it's not the worst. At the very least, it forces his king back. Now I can push this up. It's just going to be very hard to support this pawn. Hmm. I don't know if it's the play. Might be blundering here. Okay. It would be funny to try to get a rook out here. I think that'd be a good trade, right? Because I would have three, three defenders on F1, right? Must be because... Yeah, I'm kind of okay to trade the knight for the rook here. I think his best bet, honestly, is just sacking this D pawn so his uh his C pawn can advance. Cause my pawns are a bit overwhelmed here. No. Well, maybe that's the idea. Maybe I should do the uh, win in doubt, move your king towards the center <laughs> concept.
What's it going to be? Figured. Maybe I should have went back here. Maybe I should have went back to C4. I think the problem with that is like, it would have been sort of like a perpetual move situation. Hmm. I'm really tempted to try this. I don't know how good it is though. I mean, he has two defenders. I think I can promote because my queen's going to be protecting it. I don't know. I'm just going to try it. I'm pretty sure this wins a queen. If not, just plain checkmate. I think he has to run his rook back. Oh, but he can't run his rook back because the bishop is protecting that. Oops. Accidental happy accident thing. Yeah, how can he really protect this at this point? Yeah, he can win this pawn, but I think it's just mate, right? Isn't this like force mate? Because boom, he takes. Then I take. It's protected by the bishop, and then his king has no escapes. So isn't that just like force mate? Wouldn't he have to like play h3 to let his king just escape at least? No, but even then, it's going to be very hard for him to come back. Yeah. I think F3 was the move. Yeah, if he defends with his rook... I mean, it's just check, right? If he moves his rook back to, like, any of these squares, we have the same problem. I can just recapture with the pawn, and then it's just mate. So, yeah, I think this is force mate. I think, honestly, his best bet here is to sack the rook, as weird as that is. Because I think if he sacks a rook, it removes this very valuable um, bishop that protects f1. No, yeah, I think, I think, this, is, I think this is just the move. Let's think about it. He has to take... I guess he could run his king back, but either then, I, that way I'm still winning a rook, so. Oh, he did just give me this piece, though. I think this is better. Ah. I'm going to take that one first. Yeah, this is still winning. He he can't protect. I'm 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 willing to sack this rook here for this uh for this pawn. And now I just get a promotion. Yeah, I think he had to run his king back. Because if he stayed there, if he took, it was mate. So Yeah, and his knight is basically stuck here protecting this pawn. Um. Hmm. Do I take here? Hmm. I think I have to go for the queen. If he wants to promote, yeah, I'll be forced to run back here, but this is a very interesting game so far. His knight is very pinned. Maybe I should have taken his uh, knight there. Hmm. This is a very fun game so far. 
I kind of want to go back here and just play this move. Very fun game, very fun game. I can't forget about these pawns either. It would be fun to just like trap them this way though. His king can't move. His king can go here. It's a bit of a problem. I can play a lot of forcing moves though. I have rook b2 next. Okay. I have a check here. Do I have any checks where we can just trade pieces off? Hmm. Hmm. Let's try some forcing things here. I want to just try pieces off and maybe try to get another queen going. This may have been a mistake. I think there might have been a better move there. Maybe I could have attacked his queen or something, but... I think it's just still winning. Um, I can cut his king off here. This is protected and I could just run my pawn up. Yeah. Nice king has nowhere to go. Yeah, it, it would have been very hard for him to win that. Um, cool. Let me just look at the stats on this game. I think the queen sack at the end there was the play. Did I have mate here? I had mate in three. Yeah, I kind of figured I played a wrong move here. Um, I just want to see what the mate here was. Oh. Ah. Okay. So made that way. Ah, right, because his king only had one escape square. But couldn't his king go here? Wasn't this... Oh, and this is just mate and one? Where's that? Oh, queen. Ah, right. Yeah, cool. Well, GG Lithiop from Belgium. Thanks for the game. Um, I'm not going to do a full game review because I have to go pick up my child. But um, yeah, this is a fun game. Um, kind of a missed mate there, but I don't know. I haven't played like a really long game on the channel in a while, so it's been kind of fun to break that up. Um, I kind of felt like the games this week were kind of weak. <laughs> they were all re either really short games or playing against, you know, cheaters. So it's been kind of fun to play like a long game too, even if I didn't play it optimally. Um, and what was my accuracy? 70 and I played like a thousand. Three great moves. No blunders. Okay, cool. Well, I'm happy about that. Well, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one.